Hi everyone, Andy from Rageprint here. And after working on R2's legs, I got to thinking, I want to have more sounds coming out of R2. Now, R2's got a bank of sounds that I play through the Xbox controller, which you're probably just about to see behind me in the dark. Um, and there's about 170 sounds, but the thing is, there they are the same sounds. And uh, in most cases, I can't really guarantee what sound's going to come out. I can guarantee the, the theme, but not which particular sound. Um, on the other hand, there's this brilliant app that uh, has been released by a very clever guy called, called Michael. And it's um, called the R2-D2 Vocalizer. Uh, it's been out a while, and it works on Android, iOS, you know, all, 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 all the usual platforms. And it is really, really good. It, it allows you to create new vocalizations for R2 on the fly. Perfect for droids. Problem is, it only exists on the phone. There's there's currently no way to get it in your droid. Or is there? So I had a bit of a chat to Loz, and it gave me an idea. Um, this is Loz of Loz Uh He was talking about a uh, that his, his droid has a particular sound card in it, or a particular amp, I should say, in it which has Bluetooth, one like this. So it got me thinking, I could change R2's amp, which at the moment is a motor motorbike amp, and make it and put this in. This is a Bluetooth module. So I can have the best of both worlds. I can have the curated, you know, authentic R2 sounds that everybody knows and loves, or in most cases doesn't know, but, you know, recognises. And also, when a little kid comes up and wants to start having a conversation with R2, I can make him have that conversation with unique sounds and, and responses and happy, sad, you know, petrified, whatever. Yeah, and, and it can be unique sound and it will sound like he's trying to talk to the kid. I've had this happen a few times and I really wish I'd been able to do it. But more than that also, and this goes back to a con, con I went to, there was a kid there who was talking to R2 and he, he was really really sweet he was talking to R2 and he kept coming back up to him and saying do you know this particular song do you know this particular song I had to go up to him and says I'm sorry he doesn't know any of these songs but again what if he did bluetooth phone download the song play the song through here will it work well let's find out I mean it shouldn't take that long right yeah shouldn't take that long Let's find out. Let's try it. Right. Ignore the wiring. I know, the wiring's a mess. So, power going to one leg, power going to the other leg, XT60 connectors to disconnect so I can take the legs off, as we saw in the last video. This is the amp I'm using at the moment. It's a huge, great big thing, and it was originally designed for, uh, I think it's for a motorbike, or a or a motor vehicle or something like that yeah it's got massive rca connectors it's got volume control bass control treble control i don't need all that i just need volume um but i have everything i need i've got so i've got speaker there speaker there speaker wires are here I've got power going into it i can change these out for something else so it can go into the back of the card and i might even be able to mount the card on the front of the board with everything else should make things a lot easier to get to around here so um yeah I, I guess we try it um i'll disconnect these so i've got a bit more room to work with um i'm limited in you know space i can move but ooh, let's, let's do it let's try it i might leave this connected as in plugged in here just in case i need to revert um but i should be able to move the wires around and plug the the amp in Let's try it. So let's talk a bit about the board. Uh, this is the board. Um, and essentially, as I said, it's going to replace that great big honking thing there. Uh, the red buttons at the top, uh, as you can see, obviously it's upside down. You've got play on the right. Uh, can't quite see what that is. Next, or previous, I'm guessing. Uh, next, volume up, volume down. Now, 
I very rarely change R2's volume. Uh, in fact, I do it on the Xbox. So I set a volume on the amp and then use uh, software to change the volume up and down. So realistically, I just need to use these two buttons. If it's mounted on the front of the board here, that's a lot easier to change uh, when I do need to adjust the volume on a, a convention. So, uh, ooh, we're getting focus. So that's power. There's the Bluetooth module, there's the blue thing. And, no, oh, sorry, that's power. Talking rubbish. Wow, that's, yeah, that, that's power. What am I talking about? And there's the speaker connections. So that, sorry, that's the, um, that's the connection to the the, uh, the sound card itself. Ugh, it's really talking rubbish. There's the power connection. What am I dealing with it? That's quite a, that's quite a bit bigger than what I've got currently. So I've unplugged the uh, uh, the power. Where are you? Of course, it falls down. So there we go. Um, I really need a uh, stand for this. Right, two seconds. Right, so there we go. Put the power up to it. Uh, this is the power that's directly out the back of the amp, so I know it's at 12 volts. Um, so theoretically, if I power R2 on now, I get... Oh, flashing light, there we go. It's on. Excellent. It's on. So I'm assuming, I can't quite... D1, D2, I need to look see what these are. I'm guessing that's Bluetooth. Um, but yeah, that's progress. That's progress. Let's let's cook some more things up and see what happens. All right, there we go. So the speaker's now hooked up. Uh, I've hooked up the ground loop isolator. I've had to nick uh, the one destined for chopper because that one has the wrong connectors. So I'll have to replace that. So following the green wire, coming down into the spark fun. There's only one thing for it. Well, that worked. I'm not sure what the extra beeping's about, but I'm guessing it's trying to make a Bluetooth connection. Um, so if that's just on power up, that's not a problem. Let me just grab the Xbox controller. Oh, so that works. So let's try turning the volume on here down. Uh, that one. Definitely quieter. Right, okay, so volume works, so uh, one, two, three, four, five. Two more. So I'm happy with that, that works. Um, so that can go, that can go, that frees up that entire back, uh, apart from the negative bus at the bottom and the back of the switches, but that frees that up and it gives me a lot more room in there. Uh, I've just got to try and fit it on here. Um, so essentially it's looking like it's going to have to go there. Which isn't a problem, I can just move these, they're only hot glued down. Um, so the only thing left to try is the Bluetooth function. Uh, which is annoying because I'm using the phone that I'd be using the Bluetooth on. So give me a couple of minutes and we'll try again. Right, so got the R2D2 app running. Turn the volume off a bit. Right, so let's try that again. So as I said, these are randomly, not randomly generated, but um, generated on the fly noises. So, uh, there's more, more on the app anyway, but sorry, okay. Um But the higher that light bar goes, the more into that emotion he is. Um, lower part of the motion, higher part, yeah, sorry, a little bit of the emotion, a lot of the emotion, and then that shows how much in the emotion he is, if that makes sense. 
and then that's uh, the talking to himself noise and then that's the uh, I'm trying to do this through the screen I see the shock so anyway the that's still running so let's try connecting via Bluetooth device I'm guessing it's this on new audio um. that's connected I can hear that's connected right so and that R2 is now talking through my phone. Right, and then the other test is, where's my Xbox controller? Is Can I still play Ugh, noises? Ugh. Sorry about the mess. Can I still play noises through this? Ah, apparently not, it's either or. It is an either or scenario, interesting. Interesting, so if I disconnect Bluetooth and that's reconnected. If I reconnect Bluetooth and I assume that is actually paired to it. Right, that beats a bit annoying, but okay, so that's reconnected. No, but the sound card is saying it's playing. The amp is just ignoring it because it's taking the sound from there. So the, oh, no, it's that button there, there we go. So organic playback, strip playback. Uh, this is where you can store some sounds that you like. And this is where you can start creating your own scripts and an override, so uh, basically my R2 starts to get a personality, there's some sort of AI going in there. Um, so yeah, let's go back to the main page. I'd say that was a success. Um, obviously I'm not gonna leave it like this, I'm gonna tidy that up and mount it on there. I'm gonna have to take the board out and mount it in properly. Good excuse to tidy up the wiring. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so that's working. I am. I'm dead chuffed by that. Right, interesting. That's how loud that is. If I then uh, try what the sound is. Uh, so the volume. I think that's volume. Right, so let's pick. Right, it's using this. It's using the phone volume. Should expect that. So the phone volume. Mm, I got to be very careful how I do that. Yeah, I got to be very careful how I do that because I don't want the, the the beeps to jar the effect. I can work around that. I can work around that. It's just. Just ignore, just ignore it. Um, yeah, we'll just ignore it. But brilliant. There you go. On one final video, it's in. Uh, I was never going to tidy up the wiring, was I? Um, so we've got one speaker cable coming through here, one speaker cable running underneath the MP3 player, uh, power also running the MP3 player and underneath the butt converter. Uh, I've had to move these two down, um, and there's ground loop isolators plugged in around there, and the long green cable is actually plugged around the back. I'll probably get a short one and plug it from there straight into... Actually, no, I might just leave it that way around now, I've done it.
Um, yeah, it's in. It works. See? All good. So I'd say that was a success. Uh, I am dead pleased that it worked first time. Um, yeah, it just worked the way it's supposed to work. Um, the theory was sound. It's just whenever you do something with droids, you just never know. The fact that two interfere with each other, that's not a problem because uh, the idea would be I'm going to get an old phone, install the R2-D2 vocalizer and the sister vocalizer, which is... I uh, can't remember. Basically, you can make your own droid noises up. Um, so helpful for Ace, which is my other droid identity, the, the blue one. So if I just um, show you on here, I can't. Let's show you that way, a bit easier. Uh, there you go. So that's my secondary identity for my droids. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry about messing the garage. Um, we're doing my old bedroom, so there's stuff everywhere. Um, hence why there's been no videos either. So yeah, um, that worked. Um, brilliant. So uh, uh, yeah, I say old phone. Uh, I, I can just make a 3D printer adapter that you can surely hold a smartphone to an Xbox controller. Uh, and failing that, R2 is going to go RC anyway. So again, I can just do a phone adapter to an RC controller. And I will then have an organic sounding R2 that is R2, plays R2 noises with the Bluetooth off and then plays and then talks to people. Yeah, you will just talk to people. Um, as long as the Bluetooth's in range. If the Bluetooth's out of range or the battery dies on the phone, then uh, then yeah, we just switch back to normal mode. Which is not a problem because the battery dies and the Bluetooth disconnects and we're, and we're done. Um, but yeah, nice short video. Um, a very successful video and then so while, while we're here let's talk about um let's talk about chopper sorry r2 let's talk about chopper um i haven't actually got any further with chopper since the last video which is putting the periscope in uh, and buying all the bits for the for r2's body uh, r2 for chopper's body so all the electronics and so i've just had to loot those bits out for chopper that was destined for chopper to go into r2 um, let's order another one, they're cheap enough. Um, it's just a 3.5mm cable and a little um, ground loop isolator. They're cheap enough. Um, but yeah, I do need to work on with Chopper. Uh, he still needs his... Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, he still needs um, the side doors doing and the arms that come out the head. And then from there we can work on... We me can work on the um uh, the electrical electronics themselves get, and putting the kyber system in um and keep an eye out for an interview with mike that we did i'm still not sure whether he was interviewing me or i was interviewing him it kind of worked out both ways anyway uh that's on my hard drive i just need to edit that as i said been busy doing other things um yeah and then we it's uh and it's painting 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 and lights, electronics, lights, painting. And we have a working chopper and R2's looking healthier and upgrades. All's looking good. And then um, uh, we'll ignore BB-8. <clears throat> BB-8's ready to build. It, it doesn't look it, but ready, BB-8 is ready to build. We'll get on with that as well. Honest. But that needs to do. So a lot going on. Videos might be a bit sporadic in the meantime. Not they were consistent in the first place anyway, but so yeah, I'm gonna stop babbling. I'm gonna let you get on with your lives, and um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>